If your Ninja coffee maker keeps stopping and not brewing a whole pot and beeping, I'm going to show one technique that sometimes works, usually works, to get it going again. So this coffee maker is in that state now. If I turn it on, it begins to brew. There's those five beeps showing that it stopped brewing, the, the, the brew light has gone off uh, so to where in that problem. Now the first thing you should do is just double check that it's not a drip stop. It's not right now. This, this lever is in the running position, not in the drip stop position. So the, I'm going to hand the, the phone over and so I can show you. First thing you do, take all the parts off, take the reservoir off. Take the, I'll wait till it stops dripping. I'm gonna unplug it. Good enough, then I will take the filter cone out. Crap. Now I'll take the entire unit and go over to the sink and turn it upside down. Be careful, there's some parts that are still hot. Okay, now this is the important part. You take your finger where the reservoir goes in, there's a valve. You want to stick your finger and push on that valve and you'll see water's coming out. Now it not only comes out from the valve, it's also coming out from the top of the machine. That might be hard to see. And I want to now just kind of rock the machine around At some point, you'll certainly might hear the sound of some air being drawn into. I'm not hearing it this time. Okay. I'm going to try turning it one more time until water stops coming out. So this is where this is where you want to be pressing when it's upside down. You press on that button in there to let air in and water out. And now I'm going to just reverse the process, plug it back in again. Put the parts back in. work this time. Okay, it's brewing. Let's give it a few seconds to see if it keeps going. All right, it looks good. I think it would have stopped by now if it were still having this problem. Yep, that's it. So less than a five minute fix. Sometimes you'll have to do this more than once. Um, the, the whole point of this process, I think, is to get some kind of air bubble out of the system. It's not totally clear, but I've seen videos where people actually disassemble their machines to let the air out. This is a lot simpler. Uh, it seems to be working. Sometimes you'll have to do this more than once. Uh, or you'll get one or two pots out of it and you'll have to do it again and then it'll work fine for weeks before you have to do it again. Uh, it seems to be some kind of design flaw in the machine, but at least it's easy to fix. I hope you have learned something from this video. Thanks a lot. Bye.